what they go do with me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm poking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Can't hop out. What's good, y'all? Y'all know the vibes. We on the talk of the town show. You here with your boy Prince from New York? And today's guest, we got my guy D Bills in the building. It's that DB nigga, man. We all shot. How you feeling, gang? It's regular day. Yeah, it's regular day. Chilling, working. That say that. So before we start, we just gonna do a little game. Game is called rapid fire questions. So I'm gonna just ask you a question. I need you to give me an answer. And the next question, we just going back to back to back. All right, shit. Ready? All right, best. So first question: Which rapper would you not let date your daughter? Kyle Rich. Celebrity crush. <laughs> uh, Ruby Rose. Worst song ever. Um. Damn, what's that shit called? Shit about a DD dude. <laughs> Craziest DM. Craziest DM? Yeah, that you got, like somebody sent you. Random nudes. Random. Fine. Favorite artist outside of hip hop? 450. Ah, my guy. Yeah. My guy. I yeah. bet. Um, hardest ball. Hardest ball? Mm hmm Mine? I don't know. I gotta ask the people. You gotta ask the peoples. Yo, drop his hardest ball in the comments. D Bill's hardest ball. We need that in the comments. One sentence for your ex. I could curse? Yeah. Fuck you. Last thing you spent money on? Um, strip club. Best thing about NYC? The air. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite app on your phone? Instagram. Dream call? Dream car, um, the Virgil Maybach. Nah, I, don't that. I gotta look that shit up. Virgil Maybach. Yeah, that shit is tough. It say Virgil on the back of this shit, like Virgil Maybach. Nah, he designed oh. this shit. It's only a few of them shits out here. We just nah, that's that tough. Shit. That's tough. Most underrated artist. Um, Jay Gelato, or the bro. Most Tune underrated. In. If you could put any collab together. Who would it be? Hip hop? Anything. On your mind. Whatever came to your mind. A Waki collab. A Waki collab that would go crazy right now is me and what's his name from Chicago? Um Vaughn from Vaughn of Old Vaughn of 1700. Mm. That's viral because we look alike. Movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing back my old glasses for that one too. We're gonna go to the movies. Bro, we going to make that happen. Um, last thing you spent money on? Uh, strippers. Yeah, strippers. <laughs> strippers and, and weed. All right, the weed valid. Last song you listened to, my fault. Last song I listened to? Yeah. I'm about to tell y'all right now. Crosses by 450. Y'all don't even know oh about God. that one here. What about? I didn't even know you was into the. All right, where you, you, know, where you, you from? Know, from Guyana. Oh, all right, Trini boy. Say that. Say, say that. that. I'm special. I got a lot of questions for you, my boy. Uh, the first, the first question for real is, what is four one? Like, can you give me four one the definition or like a sentence? What is four one? Is us. It's me. All for one, one for all. It's a family. Gangster. That's what that is. All right. And um, who are the exact members of 4-1? It's like, y'all obviously know the main members. They are Jen Tata, me, Lotto, for me. But it's, it's a real family. Like, it's too much it's too much people to really name on here. Like, Type it's shit. a real family. So are you, a, are you an originator of 4-1? Yeah, you could say that. You could definitely say that. Yeah. Oh, you was about to say it's something like, you could say that because I introduced Tata to KR and Jen. KR introduced me to Jen for real. Okay. And then it's like we all came out our own friends for me. So then it's like basically how it went was. Thank you. Me and Tata. Is <laughs> Thank from, you. Me and Tata is from like across the street from each other. So I always grew up with Tata for me. And I knew Tata was rapping for me. He was fake one of the first niggas I seen rapping in the hood for me. All right. Before you started type shit. Yeah. All right. So then I started rapping. He seen me rapping and shit with, with um K on him for me. So now I'm walking through the hole one day. I see bro on a scooter in front of his crib. Gangster, I swear to God. See him in front of the scooter. I pull up on him. 
He's like, yo, bro, I, I, for me, I want to, for me, get up with niggas, go to the stool, for me. Went to the stool, and it's like, we all, as you would have thought, like, we had this bond for mad long. Like, we just making mad fire songs with each other. And, like, me. real quick, what's the, what years is this? Like, give me the timeline on this. So it was like, I say, like, late 2019 going into 2020. That's all right. For me. And then after that, we started making mad music together. We just, we was, mind you, we was broke. We just chipping in whatever we got. Cause it's, it's fake a few of us. So it could have all add up to a stool session, feel me? So we just going to the stool, just working every other day. Where the bro, that's how we made 4 Cypher. Cause we was just in the stool, mad pack, in the little ass stool. <laughs> Half of us standing up the whole time, just working, where the bro. So that's, when COVID hit was when it really took off because we had nothing else better to do. It was just locked in type shit. For me? Nah, that's natural. So it just started naturally. That's really how 4-1 started. Gangsta. So how do you feel about 4-1 now? Because it's changed a lot. Like a lot has happened since 2019, since I the feel start. Like, I feel like it's more of like a like a brand now for me. Like When it first started, like it was just for me, our group. Right, it was more now friendly like, time. This shit is really expanding in the business world. The real world, for me, is really bigger than how we first got it, for me. So, like, is it less genuine, can you say, or is it less friend-oriented? Nah, is it more business-oriented now? No, nah, it's definitely more business-oriented, but it's, so like, how it's has definitely that changed, changed anything. Like, or what has it changed? Um, a lot of people used to see it's clearly not around no more. Um, it's a lot more, like, structure to this shit right now. For me, one more, more, what my fault? A lot more structure, if you know what I mean. Like type shit. It's like, where does that come from? Us just cutting loose ends and really focusing up. For me, that's where that stemmed from. It's just more like serious now. Like we could take this shit to like mad bigger places than we than we really thought we could in the beginning. Gangsta. I mean, that's where. Yeah, that's and that's why I'm asking because that's where it is now. So like. Um, I guess I'm gonna I'm stay on it one more time. Like, can you can you tell me something about like, like I said, because I know four one is a lot different now. Y'all have grown a lot. Y'all are yeah. established now. Like, yeah. there's things that come with that. You feel me? Like, we know the business. There's other things that come with being well established. That like, it's not the same when y'all are just going to the stool for fun. I see what you're you saying. You feel? Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, like music wise, we can't drop. We can't like really like. Like you see how like we can't just go on a song and say whatever, feel me? Type say shit. fuck this, fuck that, da, 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 da. We can't really do that as much because like we got a bigger influence now, feel me? And it's like that's why you see us trying to fake like stray away from like all the feel me, this and all the drill, da da da, da feel me? That's why you see us start making more different types of music, music for yeah. Females, feel me? But then it's like you start making music for the females, and like oh. The industry got them. Da da da. That's the old Nigga four one. Out. Da, 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 da. Feel me? It's just, it's it's like it's like elevation. Like that's one thing niggas don't want to see you elevate, bro. That's a fact. They want to see the same shit, the same shit, the same shit, and then just never gonna be happy, bro. But let's let's touch real quick back on that influence because that's a fact. Yeah, there's a lot more influence. There's a lot. The, the stakes are higher now. Um, do you feel like there's a big responsibility that comes with? How you move the brand? Hell yeah, because I feel and like how do y'all manage that responsibility? It's like because y'all young too. It's like a learning game every day. Like we still be fucking up to this day, still be falling back into the same old shit we used to do. It's all a learning process. Like you just gotta just keep growing and keep learning and really understanding what, like, the influence we really got on on these kids and like New York people all over the world. Feel me. You nah, just gotta fine. use it in a good way, for me. Now nah, I like that you said that though, because it is a learning process. It's it's not something that you get yeah, overnight. That's a fact, and that's something that people don't be realizing too. So I um, we could go back on some friendly time. And who's your favorite foreign member to collab with? My favorite ones is when we all took that like. I wasn't trying to do that. I wasn't <laughs> trying to separate, but I mean, like, if like who like if you had if you could say like y'all go in the stool, it's just magic made. Like the chemistry um, is there. Like if there's anybody. I'll probably say, I'm gonna put it like this. I got like I'll be in the stool most with KR. 
So we got a lot of songs right now. Like, at, like at the, it's different because like, it's like, I don't know how to explain it, bro. It just be like where you at and who you with for the day. Like, for example, the last month I've been with KR recently, feel me? So, you know, we in the stew every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just mad songs. We just piling up, piling up, piling up. But the month before that, I was really with Jen. Mm, so me, me and Jen saying. running around all day. So then we had songs piling up, piling up, piling up. I see what you're saying. So it's like, it depends on who around you. For me. How it was going at that time. Yeah. Type shit. So that's basically how the group worked. Yeah. I see what you're saying. All right. So um, did y'all come up with the word toothy? Toothy. I said it wrong. <laughs> I said it wrong. <laughs> how I said it? Toothy. <laughs> nah, said it. Toothy. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Movie theater. All right. So did y'all come up with the slang word toothy? And how do y'all feel about how big it's been going? Like everybody using that slang word now. It's like, I didn't create the word duty, but I would say I took the word and I brought it to a whole different level, feel me? Not even, not even just me. All of us as a whole brought it to a whole different level. Like when I made the song duty. I heard, I heard KR say it on the song. He said duty dead Something on the like couch. That, I was mad yeah, weak in the crib. I was like, nah, I'm about to say that in the song. So now when the stool, I just said it. Duty, duty, dead on the floor. That, and that's how true. I was with Jen that day. That's how she ended up getting on the song. song. Okay, me. I see what you're saying. I just did that's it. That's fire. I was, Jen was jacking. She was like, nah, D, you know this going to go viral, right? It's like, well, put it on TikTok. It went viral. So now everybody's asking, what does duty mean? Duty is a beautiful... Vabi, female. That's what tuti is. It's not a thought. If we was going to say thought, we would have just said thought. It's tuti. That's what that is. <laughs> Got you. Tuti. Mm -hmm. um, so so that's that's just another test of like the influence that 4-1 has, that you have, that y'all all have. And, and I kind of want to just go back to who you've been influenced by. Has there anybody like growing up when Definitely. you first started, even before, sorry, before you started making music, that you like, that influenced you to make music. My biggest influence was my older bros from my block. For me, because like they really like any any names, any rapping names my, you got. Um, from? You got you got Car Money, you got Skino, you got Rico, you got it's mad at them, bro. Like. If you were like, I'm, I'll post some on Instagram. Like, I'm in old videos and all that, feel me, from mad years ago, feel me. My pops used to, my pops got music videos out from mad years ago, feel me. In the same block I, I grew up on, feel me. Oh, tight shit. So you been. So it's like, I really just used, I was just around it, feel me, because my pops was in the streets, feel me. I just, I was just a block baby. Like, I just grew up shit. around this shit. I'm watching niggas shoot videos. All the shit I'm doing now, I watched Watch them do it before do me, feel me. So that's really where the influence came from. So you did you always want to make music or did that it just happen? I always wanted to, but I never knew I was gonna take it to like this level. Yeah, for me. And I ain't even really taken away yet, but like I ain't think I was this was gonna be my job for me. Like nah, you know that's fine. I, mean? I see what you're saying. Um, um is there any other like musical artists, people in the industry that have been well established that you could say has that been influenced? made a big impact on you as well? Oh no, not really. Um Chief Keith. G Herbo, Dirk. Like I used to listen to Mad Chicago music. Like when Chief Keef was lit, that was Not my facts. favorite rapper. Like, I used to go to school bumping Chief Keef with my mom's phone or the bro. Like Chief Keef was my favorite artist or the bro. In the town, probably um Chef G, um Favi, J D, man niggas like it's man niggas for me. Those are a lot of influences, though. Bobby Schmurda, Roddy Rebel, for me, it's a lot of them. Nah, I say that. Was Was Soldier Boy one of them? By any chance? Soldier Boy. <laughs> um, but yeah, he was, but like, I couldn't really connect with him because he not well. He you not from, from where I'm from, saying. for me. But like, now the names I just mentioned, it was it was different. I only ask because. I know y'all sampled yeah. the song. Um, did he ever reach out, by the way? Did he yeah. ever show love His back? manager was at the video. Facts? Gangsta. Oh, that's, that's not even a sample. That's the original beat. Like, that's the, oh. like, we was in the stool 
and we searched up Soldier Boy, crank that instrumental. And we played that shit in the st- It was like a party stool day that day. Feel me? It was everybody in the stool. We just lit. Feel me? I seen this shit going viral on TikTok. I was about to go tuck off to the stool and go do the shit myself. <laughs> but I ended up in the stool with the bros that day. Feel me? So now we looking for a beat. I'm like, let me throw this. I'm in my head. Like, let me throw this beat on and see how the bros react. Sitting there smoking, throw the beat on. Everybody just bumping their head. Like, you would have thought this was a Jersey beat that everybody doing. This. Everybody bumping their head. Jen, like, Yo, I was dead gonna do this beat. I was like, what? You know what that mean? Everybody got on the beat. We just made the song right then and there. Feel me? After that, took it to the movie, shot the shit like the next week. So, how y'all got Soulja Boy manager at the videos? Right? The snippet went viral. That's what it was. Okay, y'all posted the snippet and it went viral everywhere. Feel me? And there was a lot of other work behind the scenes that made that happen. Feel mm-hmm. me? And he just tapped in. Soldier Boy tapped in. He sent he it to the video. personally. Like he, he, he tapped into the video, shared it, all that. Feel fire. me? Show love. Shout out to Soldier Boy. Nah, yeah, word. Shout out to Soldier because he did the same thing for uh, for Sexy Rest. So I'm like, nah, y'all did it first. So I had to ask. I'm like, yo, oh, yeah, y'all seen that what's too. What's going on? I, like? Y'all know who y'all know who read that. Y'all know who read that first. I'm Type like, shit. the fans know what's up, word of book. Um, and then y'all also you you also did a four bad sample. A who sample? Four bat. You, you know who four bats? Oh, I thought you said full back. Oh, nah, nah four oh, bats. Four bats for sure. Yeah, did he um reach out, show any love to y'all? Did he? I don't know. He probably heard the song though. Feel me? I ain't really personally tapping with him though. Feel oh, me? Right. He probably heard the song though. He going viral too. Nah, oh, oh, viral. Instead, he's going crazy. I'm still trying to question myself. Like, is that really him singing that shit? <laughs> Gangsta. He got the cheat code. What a bro. It, no, it worked. Gangsta. Shout it out worked. to him though. But um, to to switch back gears, um, I really want to hear your thoughts on Brooklyn Drill. Um, do y'all feel like for and specifically not just drill, Brooklyn drill? Like I want to know, mm-hmm. um, do you do y'all feel like y'all are the only one hold, hold, definitely holding, not. holding it down right now? Definitely not. Shout out to Brooklyn drill. So up so, or not, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Up or not, Brooklyn drill is going crazy right now. All across every hood going crazy right now. There's anybody that you've been seeing like nah, they doing anything right now? Um, fuck with these niggas. The Bros in the Ville is doing anything right now. The Swervo Bros is doing anything right now. The P Rack Bros is doing their thing right now. Shout out to P Dubs, Rello, all the bros in the Ville is doing their thing right now. It's a lot of niggas doing their thing right now. Nah, okay. K Glizz, he fired. He going crazy right now in the town too. Gangster. I wear respect. Um, and then and then back on the Brooklyn drill, tip Chef G out. You oh yeah, me? Chef G, he about to go to the movies. How was it linking up with a with a with a drill legend? It was just like it's, and it's you like, said he influenced you too. So like, was that a surreal moment at any point? It's like, I just appreciate all that shit. Cause it's like, we the younger generation, feel me? And it's like, it showed that we doing something. And like we doing something right. If That's we true. got we got the the bros that came before us that already established in the shit, feel me? If they tapping in with us showing us love, that means we gotta be doing something right. Feel me? That's how I take it, feel me? I just appreciate everything. Is anything he like said or any messages he said anything? I ain't really, me? I ain't really get the chance to really have a real for me to sit down with bro yet. Type shit, all right. Um, top five drill artists currently. No, no order. Any borough? Yeah, any borough. Um, damn, bro. It's like, I, re- I don't know, bro. Cause it's like, the drill scene is fake. It's looking all right now. Like. I'll be going there. That's why I need that. That's why I need you to give oh, me that. Oh, like, <laughs> all right, so then we could we could skip that question. Um, all around though. All around. Talk to me. Cash going crazy. Joey going crazy. I ain't gonna lie. The Slizzy. The Slizzy. I'm the Slizzy. Tomorrow. The Slizzy coat. Whatever they got going, on, they all going crazy right now. <laughs> you called it a coat. Yeah. Whatever that. That shit. I like what they're doing over there. They're doing the right thing. Now they are, I mean, do you feel like that's pushing out the drill? The yes, drill way? That's what we need it right there. We need it. But you fucking with it though. Yeah, I'm jacking that shit. Feel me? Shout What's another one? All 12 Mo. That's my son right there. That's my boy. Can't stop fucking with him. 
So as a so all right, as a drill artist, you said you feel like there's a the slizzy wave is overtaken. As a drill artist, what's the what's the pivot for y'all? The pivot for me. If drill is being washed out by that. The females, bro. The females is never like you can't lose. But they with the doing female. that too. But we don't gotta do it the In way the they doing line. it. For me, we could just do it our own ways. We just gotta make sure it connects to the females. Cause once the females got the song, it's over. You won. Type shit. It's over. Type shit. Cause it's like the drill fan base is really just like I don't know how to explain it. Like they want something that's really not there no more. For me, they don't know how to move on. The females. <laughs> Females, you it's no losing with them. They just want the vibes. They just, that's all they want. That's all you gotta do. Y'all heard it from a drill rapper himself. Move on. Gangsta. Move on. The only reason I dropped that latest drill song, the only reason I dropped the media reaction is because I'm looking, I see, oh, I'm tired of all he saying stuthy now. <laughs> oh, we missed the old DB, the stand the third. So it's you like, be reading the comments. Yeah, I'll be reading the comments. I see everything, bro. That you they bother you much, you care yeah, much. I don't give a fuck to be honest. I mean, you I just made a new song. You made a drill song because of the comments you said. Gangsta. Like, so I be because like I watch it's not just the comments too. It's the comments. I watch all my reaction videos. For me, I watch everything that people say. So me. what do you take in? Like what, what do you take, take in and what advice, do you leave out? And then I was like, all right, that's what they want. So now when I go to the stool today, I'm on this type of time tonight. Feel me? I just go with the flow. I see everything. I just take, I take all my feedback. That's what I do. I take all my feedback. Fair. Negative or positive, feel me? I embrace the positive ones. For me, you're not going to see me embrace negative comments on the end, me, but I see it, for me. You just got to take everything in and run with it, for me. Gangster. Um, Is there any... And I know we switched real quick, but I wanted to just get this last question off. Mm -hmm. Is there any female artist you're interested in working with? Because I know we was talking about the female. Um, or that you would want to work with. What's the girl name that's going crazy right now? Dio or something. Danny? Yeah, she's... Yo, what's her name, bro? What's Danny Dio. Danny, oh, Danny Dio, Dio, that's how you say it? Yeah. She's going, going to the movies. I'm going to tap in with her. Um, who else? I think there's a few females going crazy. Um, they Ben's going crazy too. She's wilding right now. Um, it's a lot of them out there, bro. I'm I'm really I'm willing to work with whoever want to work with me. That's how I feel. Yeah. For me. Tap in. I'm impressed. So, um, another thing too that I wanted to touch on. Excited for summer jam. Oh yeah. How, how you how you feel about that? Um, and what goes into being selected? Because how did like how did you get on the lineup? Talk to us about that. Um, I got on the lineup because of my family. <laughs> for me, this is what we do for each other. We come through for each other. So I was blessed enough to be on summer jam and shit. And it's crazy because like I remember my parents getting ready for summer jam with their little summer jam shirt with all the rappers that's rapping on that shit. Everybody excited for that shit. Talk about that shit. And now I'm on Summer Jam. Now you wanted it. At my young age, I'm really doing this shit. And it's like this shit's happened mad fast. Feel me? That shit is crazy. I still ain't really like process. Fully process. I'm not gonna process it till after I'm after I fully woke up the stage and I'm driving home. So is there anything that goes into preparing for a performance as big as that? At least for you? <laughs> it's really a mental thing, like it's like, me. It's like you just gotta get it's like it don't kick in until the day you wake up. Like right. you just gonna think about that shit. Then when you wake up and you really getting ready for this shit, yeah, that's when it's really go. gonna kick in. Like oh shit, like this shit is really about to happen. Like then when you get to the stage, that's when it's like I right, shit's getting real now. Feel me? <laughs> that's how I felt at the Barclays. Like shit's getting yeah, real. I was gonna ask you about that too. Gangster, like it's not gonna kick in until that day, or the bro. You still how you 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 process that yet though the Barclays yeah the Clays. yeah I process that that shit is crazy like I have family in that crowd cousins f family of my family Tom. it was just crazy like um so um I know we also talked about comments and you said you see and you read everything mm -hmm. so how do you feel about um fans pointing out that Jen Kai and um Tata left you. 
No, see, so yeah, we get it fucked up. Talk to that love. Talk to that. For me, it's just like, how do I explain it? Like, um, it's like, it's crazy because we 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 be all together reading the same shit y'all be reading. Like, <laughs> gangster, like we live together. Like, we really watch this shit. For me, it was just a matter of like Tom, Tom man. and place for me. When 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 like. When 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 it looked like it was a trio thing going on, mm-hmm. my mom wasn't really like on rap for me. My mom was in another place at the time for me, so I really like distanced myself for me. That for was sure. really that was really me for me. That was that had nothing to do with the bros for me, and they respected that for me. And then got my mom right, and then it was just straight to the movies. That's how. That's why it looked like. I disappeared, Type, and then, and then I came like, back. Yeah, all of yeah. us, for me, I was just going through a lot of shit at the time. Right? So, so how do y'all? Because you said y'all be reading the comments together, y'all live together. Basically, how do y'all deal with drama or and all of the allegations? You feel me? Like they be like, watching y'all every move. Like it's like we had a point where like we that don't care. Like these comments is not taking money from us. Uh, They're not giving money from us. They're not giving money to us. And it's like. If you really know what's going on, then you really know what's going on. We would look like a dumb, we would look dumb if we on the internet arguing with these fake pages and shit, trying to correct them, feel me, and doing mad crazy internet shit. We would look crazy, feel me? And it's like, the way I see this, you're not gonna win with the internet, bro. Nah, you not, you not, you like, not. You're not gonna win, cause <laughs> look, not. let me put it like this. They say, they say, oh, you, you pussy, this, that, and the third, da, 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 until you really go do some crazy shit. And then it's like, oh, he dumb. He crashed Why out. He did that. Da, 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 da. He damn. He, he got it. Now he threw his life away, da, 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 da. put him in jail forever. <laughs> You're not going to win. That's a fact. That's You're a fact. never going to win. It's the same way with rap. You can't, like, you can't do both. Like, But I mean, there's, so there's never a time where y'all like, where there's something that come out, the blogs post something, somebody comments something, somebody post something on their story, somebody say something on live where y'all have to come together and address it as a group. Y'all got to hit the chat. Y'all got to have a one meeting. Like It'd be like that for me. It'd be like that sometimes. You just got to know when it's the right time to, like, you got to know when to respond and when not to respond. For me, it's like, it's like, you got to play chess with this shit. You just got to be smart. My my last friendly question about four <laughs> one is: There a four one leader, and if so, who's the leader of four one? Um, well, not the leader, but you know what I mean. Like, who's I the face or the? It's it's like I can't. We can't really say it's a face because like we started this shit together. Together for me, it's like some Mount Mount Rushmore type shit. I see it for me. I see it. But regarding the leader part, I say like. Leading as in, feel me, setting examples. Feel like me? a team captain type Exactly. Yeah. But we all young, feel me? So it's really going to be hard for one person to lead all of these young niggas, feel me? Unless you were older nigga that been in this shit, feel me? We just all feed off each other. Like, we just make sure, like, because we all fuck up. So it's type like shit. one of us, one somebody is going to come in and be like, nah, you wildin', bro, da 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 And feel me? We all going to back it, feel me? And it's I don't like I don't know how to explain. Nah, it. Nah, you explained it well. That was good. Uh, to just follow up, then do do y'all have any? Um, does four one have any mentors or anybody that y'all look up to uh, in the yeah. industry that be guiding y'all? That shout say, out the oh, road rolls. Talk to me. Shout out the road rolls. Y'all know what's up with the road rolls. Those are the real big bros. Like ain't gonna lie, if it wasn't for the road rolls, for me we would been out here wilding. For me, like that's really a that's really another reason why people like. Niggas our age be crashing up, bro. They don't have no, no guidance, guidance, bro. Like, that's why I'm blessed to have my pops because my pops been through all the shit I've been through times 10. And more. So now he able to really guide me through this shit and really help me move properly. Like, that's why people always think I'm older than I really am for me. It's How you see? I'm not going to disclose that. You okay. see? Oh, <laughs> my me? God. If you know, you know. Say you that. Mean? But it's like people always think I'm older. But it's not because like I'm trying to be grown. It's just how I was raised. Like I was just brought up this way. But now it's like I'm on my own now for real. So when I'm not around my pops, 
I got the Ro Ro's, you feel me? Mm-hmm. I got I got them to guide me through this shit. Cause they older and they're just like my pops for me. They been through the shit. We been through times ten. So they keep us level headed for me, show us how to move in this shit. For me. I just got two two questions for you. Uh well, actually three. The first one um is so basically I don't know if you saw or not, but Shy K did an interview. Um, on the Uppercut podcast, basically down talking yeah. our manager. So for the people watching, um, can you just describe the relationship, describe your manager and describe the relationship that you and y'all have with y'all manager? I'm locked in with my managers for me. We working very well. We doing very good. We going up straight to the movies for me. I don't know what bro had going on for me, <laughs> but that's his problem for me. <laughs> Can't so how would you describe your managers? My managers? Yeah. My managers is like, it's not even really like, it don't feel like a business with them. Like, I don't feel like I'm on a job. I just feel like big ass family, just doing what we like to do every day for me. Cause I live with them too, for me. It's like, it's like a family. It's like a household, a regular household. Like, I got you. Um. I want to know some thoughts on the beef with Maya Kenzo and why she left the group. Man, listen. She never said nothing to me. <laughs> I don't got nothing to say to her. For me. She's just going to keep it like that for me. Whatever happens, happens for me. That's it. Respectfully. Um, last question. The 4 one beef with Didi over making the Naughty Bop. Right. I ain't going to lie. I don't give a fuck about them niggas, bro. It's like, that shit is watered down for me. It's old, and it's like, shit is really real out here for me. I got real ops I gotta worry about. I don't really wanna entertain this media, weird, politicking, social media beef. That's usually Cause saying. it's like. So that's that. They got, they, they got way bigger fish to fry. We got way bigger fish to fry, wherever we are. They is all the way, <laughs> well, I don't know how, 40, 30, 40, whatever, how far they are. They, bro, come on, bro. It's like, this shit is, I'm not worried about y'all niggas, bro. So that's that type shit. It's like, I wouldn't say it's that, because it's not like, for me, it's not like we're going to be cool. It's just- Other shit to worry about. I see what you I'm not worried about y'all niggas, bro. I got a random segment for you. We could bring it back friendly. Mm-hmm. Um, any thoughts on the Kendrick and Jake beef? You, you want any <laughs> sides? You jacket any tracks? <laughs> I'm not on no side for me. They both <laughs> that they think I ain't going live for me. There's any top tracks you jacket? Like, uh, it's just entertainment for me. Like, I don't know if they serious or not for me. It's just, it's just fun. I never thought like five, 10 years ago when I'm bumping these Kendrick Lamar and Drake tracks that these niggas would be dissing each other. Type shit. Feel me? So it's like, all this this shit, it's kind of fun. And it's kind of funny to see now because it's like when we do it, <laughs> it's like, oh my God, these kids is menaces. Da, da, da. But when they do it, it's all funny games for me. I'm just glad to see it was I'm just glad to that's see the fact, entertainment though. that's going on for me. You got any opinions on J. Cole backing out? Do you know what he did? Shit. Oh yeah, they said something like he copped the plea or something. Yeah, basically he um so he dropped a diss track, it was fire, and then he got on stage and basically said sorry, and then he took the diss track down off of all platforms. What? Who he said sorry to? Kendrick. He said sorry to Kendrick. Yeah, he basically was like, my fault. This is not me. <laughs> like that's what he said. Yeah, I I respect him for that, bro. He kept it a buck for me. It's like, I would have never expected J. Cole to be out here dissing niggas and making diss tracks for me. I thought, for me, he was inspirational, bro. Keep, for me, keep doing that. (laughs) (laughs) Would you ever drop a diss track and then something in your spirit be like, nah, and then you would would take it back? Like, you would say sorry, you would take it back? No, 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 no. Can't take that back. It depends on the level of disrespect. It depends on, like, if I know I'm really, like, disrespecting you, like, but he wasn't saying nothing worse than how y'all be talking. And then he took it back? And then he took it back. I don't know, bro. It's like... I mean, if you fuck with J. Cole, you, I see it. 
I was just like, I fuck, I fuck with all of them. He like, I'm jacking him. Bro. <laughs> I'm jacking him. I, I got another reg- a random question for you. What's the most fan out thing you have seen from a shorty? Whether it was at a oh, concert, bro. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I see fan out shit every single day. Yeah, but what's some fan out shit? Some shit you was like, nah, this is crazy. Oh my, that's the worst. The most fan out thing I ever seen is like, I seen a female like faithfully go from one to two to three to four to five to the point where we could sit in a line like this, pull up our phone, my phone, pull up our phone like this, man. Five phones in a row. And you could just see the same for me. <laughs> the same at the top. Same, same name at Damn. each five. Crazy shit. That's uh, how yeah, we get out here. Out get shit. nasty out here, bro. Has a girl ever tried to set you up? Um, I ain't gonna lie, like, I really, like, cause it's like, everybody loved DB. Like, why would you wanna, for me, why would you wanna do that to me? Everybody loved me. Only my ops hate me, for me. It was like, ah. Uh, it's like, if I feel like it's a line, I'm not gonna link you anyway, for me. Cause it's like, ah, yeah. I'm gonna see it before it. I'm gonna see it before it happen. Feel me? So then, so then, how do you stay safe in the dating, in the dating world? In the dating cra- world, yeah, it's crazy out here, and you, you lit. Now you got clout. It's a lot of clout chases. It's a lot of dick me, riding. Like- I say thirstiness is really what began niggas, bro. You can't be too thirsty, bro. You can't just jump into everything. Feel me? If I don't know or like I don't see it, one of my older bros around me is gonna see it and be like, Nah, you wild at DB. That's not a. That's not where you're supposed to be. I don't think you should go there, feel me? Shit like that, feel me? For the ladies, what's three things DB look for in his girls? Wait, uh-huh. matter of fact, hold on, my fault. Are you single? Or are you in a relationship? The people need to know that. I'll put it like this. You think it way too much. <laughs> <laughs> you think it way too much, okay? <laughs> I'll put it like this. The point I'm in in my life right now, I'm 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 single, but I'm trying to chill. Like I've been wilding, and now I'm at the point where I'm trying to just calm down and just feel me, just vibe. Like it's like I've been through the stage of all the groupies already, bro. It's like I put it like this. I'm a, I'm, out, I'm looking for love right now, <laughs> but I'm not just looking for love from anybody right now. Oh, okay, for me, I, I take just that. Got, I take that. It might be something in the works right now. Mm-hmm. Might. By the way shit looking, it might be something in the works right now. I don't want to just you can't jinx it. come you can't out jinx here it. and jinx it, feel yeah, you me? Can't jinx and be it. like, yeah, I'm not saying It might be something in the works right now, feel <laughs> me? Uh, if you had a girl or when you get your girl, would you ever post your shorty? It's like, no. I'm not going to post her. <laughs> but Because it's like, I like, like, I'm a private nigga. Like, mm. I don't really put... I don't air my business down on the media. When I'm posting, you see me living life or posting my music. I don't really post my business for me. So it's like she never get. It'll be, it'll be like I'm gonna make it known, but I'm not gonna broadcast it for me. I'll post like a finger or some shit. <laughs> Your like finger a, is crazy. Like a leg or ear. All right, that's the a, leg that's my body. body. I for got me. you. Um, cause not. Another reason why I asked that too is because another another thing that a lot of artists either fall into or use is they show these to help promote. For them. promotion. You feel me? They I, got look, look, I ain't gonna lie though. That 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 was a thought in my mind before. Like, I should just go viral right now. Just post some wacky pictures and just go to the moon. Like I could have did that mad times, but it's like, don't be worth it. I gotta make sure for me, because I, I would hate to go out like a lot of rappers out here. For me, they girlfriend is out here embarrassing wow, them, man. clowning them. Now I'm out here making sad songs and shit. <laughs> wow, man. I don't want to be one of those, bro. Are you, so you're not into using your shorties for content. How do you feel about content creators and a, and a lot of artists and rappers linking up now? Like that's another lane that's been open. Um, The TikTok scene. I feel like the- I... S- Regarding the content, like the little, you talking about like the little the blonde day videos. Yeah, yeah, little, yeah. 
It's like the twenty V ones. The- I'm about it like, I like before the, like when I was first coming up, I wasn't. I had a problem with like expressing myself and shit, like getting out there, showing my personality. Mean? So I wasn't really like doing them vid- type of videos. Like, but now it's like you gotta show like you gotta you gotta do that shit for me. The fans want to see like. You all for music videos and yeah, yeah, for me. So I'm about to start getting into 20 D ones content. All that I'm about to start getting into. Now we need it. And then another thing that's coming up is celebrity boxing is now a thing. Would you? Ever, oh yes. Would you ever do it? If so, yes. Who and how much bread? You I'm need? not gonna say who until oh, it's final <laughs> and the, and it's confirmed and it's flyers and everything. But definitely, it's a few niggas I want to box. Word of bro. Word to bro. Like how much you need to for that? Oh, you would do bro, it for the love, like, for the marketing, for like for the nah, love. I'm not the doing it for the marketing. <laughs> they gotta show me some type of love. <laughs> for me, I'm not looking for no fucking fortune. No, they gotta. I'm not just gonna fight for free on the internet. Fair, but it's like it's a few niggas that I gotta box with, bro. If if we not gonna kill each other, then we gotta box with the bro. That's how I see it, gangster. The four one song bent and the Ice Spice song fart. A lot of people have been saying those two songs sound alike. What's going on with that? You got any thoughts on that? Talk to me. That shit crazy for me to be like that though, bro. You see what's going on. You see Cash Go Bane and them. You see a lot of niggas starting to feel me. Sound like them now. For so me. that was just a random people just happen like, to. If you know, you know, bro. Shit is crazy out here though, bro. We would we would be better together, bro. You don't gotta for me be weird. This is the problem in New York now. Everybody wanna be separate. Everybody wanna be do weird shit. Why we can't just go go up together, bro? Like, I don't understand. Like, and it always been this way. Why? Why? And it's just how the town's built, bro. Like if it's no if it, man, I don't know. That's how I see Nah, if it's nah, talk to me. If it's no beef, then why can't you finish your steak? It's like if we don't have no, like, beef with, like, bloodshed, shots was fired, it's no reason why you should be being weird. Feel me? Like, what are you being weird for? Like, we could just be better to, I'm not talking about Ice Spice. I'm just talking about in general. Like, for me, like, that's the problem with a lot of niggas, bro. Niggas, it's just... I don't know. We all just grew up with pride. I don't know. Nah, New yeah, York niggas just grow up with pride. Or they just, you got to gain the pride. I don't know, bro. It's weird, bro. Yeah, one more game. It's called Finish the Sentence. You ready? Females should know better than to not. Dick rod. <laughs> Sometimes I look at my life and I can't believe I. Made it out the trenches. When I got older, I learned that. Everybody is not your friend. People need to take blank more seriously. People need to take life more, more seriously. seriously. All right. It's not a game. I cheated once because. Because. You ain't do what you were supposed to do. I hate when. People lie. I work the best when I. Papa Yetta. <laughs> I don't play when it comes to my money. I can't do business with you if you you fuck with them niggas. <laughs> my favorite song I wrote. I mean, my favorite song I wrote is "Loving the Crew." I can't fuck with a girl if she. Say it one more time. I'm ready. I can't fuck with a girl if, if she, she don't give head. <laughs> gangster. In five years, I see myself somewhere out the country, living my life, doing what I like to do. You know me, making this brand so shit look good and shit like that. You know how I do. Follow me on this one. I'm embarrassed that I know so little about. Mm. You want to do? Say that. Yeah, I got you. Again. I'm embarrassed that I know so little about what the future holds. Mm. Movie theater, huh? Mm. From time to time, it's good to go to the strip club, enjoy yourself, bro. It's good. You deserve it sometimes. But you be you bro. be doing that from time to time, or you do that all the time. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, you see, 
You see, <laughs> nah, I fuck with you. I fuck with you. Um, the world would be a better place if we was more together. Facts. Why do people? Why do people bother me, bro? <laughs> why do you bother me? I know you watch. I know you're gonna watch this too. Stop bothering me, bro. Leave me alone. What the fuck? Give me a break. Stop bothering me. <laughs> if you know me, you know. DB is not with the drama. Mm -hmm. And then finally, the secret to a happy life is to... Keep your business off the internet. I like that one. That's a fact. That's Shit. the movie. I ain't gonna lie. That's all I got for you, bro. But... um. If there's anything you wanna you wanna let the people know you got coming out, uh, you about to do music videos coming out, tapes coming out, songs coming out, collabs oh, yeah. coming up, rolling I'm loud, talk to the people. For me, I'm out the show. DB is about to go mad crazy. I'm about to drop every three weeks. Mark my words. I'm about to go mad crazy. I got mad singles coming out. The summer, oh my God, it's over. I'm going crazy the whole summer. After the summer, I'm dropping a project. I'm taking niggas straight to the movies. Remember I told y'all this? I'm taking niggas straight to the movies. Word of bro. Hold mad consistency. Flood. Mad consistency. Mad consistency. Is anything you want to let the fans know, the haters know, the people in the comments? Talk to them. Anything on your mind? Um, go make sure y'all go tap into a media reaction. We just did 100K in a week. Going crazy Facts. all over. For me, to my haters, keep hating. I love y'all too, for me. We just gonna go to the movies for me. Y'all just gonna hate me some more after this run for me. That's all I'ma say. I'ma just leave it at that. Yeah, that's all I got for you. Y'all know the vibes. We on the talk of the town show. That was D Bills. We out. Thank you.